How's it going everybody? My name is 9062 underscore Eris. I'm a mentor for Team 9062 and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to set up XRC and also get into the simulator and drive around in a matter of a couple minutes here. So first we're going to download XRC. So we go to this website xrcsimulator.org. So I'll go to the home page here to show an example of the actual site. The site is experiencing a little bit of traffic right now. So you know what? I'm actually going to go back. So it's going to be xrcsimulator.org here slash downloads if you want to go right to the download section. So as we can see here, XRC Simulator version 19.0a. So download the version that is needed. So for example, in my case, I'm on Windows. So I'm going to install using the Windows zip here. Next up, I'm going to have, I've already had the download finish here. So I'm going to click on it. And then we're going to see the file loads up here. And we are going to click, double click. Now Microsoft first is going to initially do this, which is Windows Protect Your PC. Microsoft Defender blocked it. So what we're going to do is click on more info and run anyway. XRC is safe. It doesn't have any malware or viruses uh, to anybody's knowledge or anything. So it is completely safe to install. It's going to be prompted with this. We're going to click yes. We'll do this really quickly. And we're going to go into the setup here and it's going to say select the language used during the installation. So in our case, it's going to be English, but you do whatever language you'd like. So you can also check or de-check the box here to create a desktop shortcut on your desktop. It's going to create an app icon um, on your desktop. So for this case, I am going to click next. We're going to click install. And we're going to wait for this install to happen here. So we can see here it's extracting all the files and it's like XRC simulator onto the device here. Once you can see that's finished, you can read these. You can read these setups and also information here if you want. But in this case, we're going to click next here and completing the XRC setup wizard. So if you would like, you want to play XRC another time or another day, you can click uh, finish and without launching the simulator, and it won't launch the simulator. But it is installed on your device. But in this case, we do want to head into the simulator, so we're going to check that box to launch XRC simulator upon the finishing of the download. So it's gonna take a little bit of time here to head into XRC. As you can see, XRC is installed now and we have launched the actual application here. Now we can see the game here initially is on infinite recharge. And if that's the case for you and it's not immediately on decode, click this icon here and we're gonna scroll all the way down here using the scroll or just clicking and holding here. And we're gonna to head to a rebuild here. As you can see, the rebuild presented by house here, the game. And we're going to switch our robots. So my robot's currently at the Neutron 125. That's not what I want currently. And I'm going to head over here to the robot section. When I head into settings, we're going to click robots. We're going to click on the category here and we're going to scroll all the way down from infinite recharge. If it's not already on rebuilt, we're going to click on rebuild here. And it's already got a robot right there for you. It's the Kitbot 2026. Now, if for the drivetrain you want to have a uh, basic understanding of the actual Kitbot in real life, you can click on the six wheel or X for tank drive, those will be tank drive, will react just like tank drive. But if you want a swerve experience with, a, with the kitbot, click on mechanism here. Turn speed is also a thing that you can worry about. So we're gonna just jack that all the way to 100%. Um, so yeah. Just gonna quickly load the default controls here for y'all. As you can see, this will also pop up as well. Now, reminder guys, this is a pre-release version of the reboot based on, based on the CAD and not the game manual. So rules like the G type rules of foul rules will not currently be implemented into the game as of this point. So bear with the developers here. So as we see, we're in the game. We can drive around here and I will quickly uh, close out the recording and put up a controller overlay to control to um, show you guys the controller uh, inputs I am inputting really quickly. So I'll see you in a second. So we're in XRC now and I've got my little controller overlay there. So I'm gonna move back and forth and it will do the same thing on my controller. So I'm gonna give a quick little tutorial here on the controls of the XRC Kitbot 2026 here in the rebuild for an Xbox One controller. If you have a different controller, I'd suggest uh, trying to learn it yourself because unfortunately I don't have a PS4 controller or something else. I have an Xbox controller um, currently. So for, let's go over basic controls. So to move, um, so imagine this is swerve. So if this is swerve, you can control using forward, using your left joystick to 
drive in the direction and to turn you use the right joystick right joystick to turn left and right so there's left and that's right and once again the left joystick to go forward backwards side to side and stuff like that now to intake the intake is on the front side you can change your camera using um, by clicking the left joystick there to switch cameras now intaking is on the front side so the side facing you if you're in this perspective other side if it's from this perspective but from this video we're gonna use this perspective so an intake uh, to turn the intake on and we're gonna press X here as you can see the wheel starts spinning up and you can gently go up to a crowd of balls here we'll just go to the center here we're gonna go here over the bump and we can see we can just slowly intake them if we just drive a bunch and we'll have a bunch here to outtake them you're gonna hold a here so a and then if they don't want to come out, just jostle the robot around like it's stated in the kip -off video in real life there. Jostle them out, and they'll be outtake. But let's intake once again, so let's press X. Pressing X once, and let's collect a bunch of fuel cells here. And you can notice that now we get to the fun part, which is shooting. So you can shoot with the intake off or on. So to get the intake off again, you press A. To have it on, press X. So A is off, X is on. So we're going to intake, and what we're going to do is we're going to line up all the way here, just past, just near the line here, and for shooting, we're going to hold Y, so Y to shoot, and they all flutter in just like that, right into that center hub there. So we're going to do that again, so we're going to press X to intake, we're just going to go into the center here, the neutral zone, and we're going to collect all of these fuel cells, go over the hump there, line, our, line ourselves up to the um, hub here and we'll hold Y so the Y button and all of them will flutter right into the hub there so that is the controller controls none of the other buttons will do anything so if I were to press triggers or my uh, bumpers there nothing would happen if I press the d-pad nothing would happen and yeah so I will run a full match on the controller now and then I will sh quickly show you keyboard controls. So enjoy this full match video using a controller with the gamepad viewer as well. Enjoy!
So as you can see in that match, I was able to score a very nice 118, respectable 118 there. Now you may notice sometimes that I struggled a little bit there getting over these things called humps or bumps on the field here. That's because I am on a mechanism drive here and it's not simulated as an actual swerve drive, but although it mechanism basically functions the same as swerve, now unfortunately, I will, I will say this, if you slowly eke yourself and get in a position like this, or possibly like this, there are a lot of chances for you to get stuck if you went like this, high speed like this. In this position, you are fully stuck, unfortunately. I had to reset the recording about three times because um, I got beached here, unfortunately, on the hump there. But do be careful and note your surroundings here on the field here, and unfortunately, moments like this where you can get beached right on the hump there, right on the edge there. But it shouldn't be too much of a worry if you take other paths like the trench or go straight full on uh, at a very high speed over the hump like this. So I'm gonna restart the match. Right and yeah, we will continue the cycle again of scoring and doing it again. Now I'm gonna be covering over a quick little overlay of the keyboard um, controls. Now, unfortunately I was not able to get an overlay here so you can still see the controller overlay there, unfortunately, but these keyboard controls are really simple and really easy to manage. So, of course, uh, moving around, moving forward, backward, left, and right is going to be W, A, S, and D, or W, S, A, and D. So A backward, A, A to the left, D to the right, S backwards, and W forward. To turn left and right, so it's going to be J for the left turn, L for the right turn. And for intaking here, we're, we are going to press I, so your I key. And we're just going to run the balls here, once again. To outtake, we're going to press, we're going to hold U here, so we're going to jostle the U falls around here in the intake to, while holding U, so we can outtake U's here. So we're gonna intake using I here once again. So I, rummage around the balls, take a big leap over the hump here. And for shooting, the most exciting part about this robot, we're going to press up against the hub here and hold K, so K. And all the fuel volleys right into the hub there. So that is a basic uh, controls of the um, keyboard controls here. Now there's a special little button here, it's the space bar. It allows you to go into the driver's perspective mode here. I never um, stated this while doing the controllers, but it is more or less a keyboard control. You can do this while you're on controller as well um, with, with your keyboard. Unfortunately, you're not able to do this with a controller, I don't think, so you just press space bar again to go back into the road perspective. It's basically going to go into the driver's perspective here. Now if you are in the driver's perspective, make sure in the settings menu, make sure to switch to the driver's perspective. A setting there um, and make sure it's not robot centric instead of driver station centric. So yeah, that is a basic full um, tutorial video on how to set up XRC simulator for the 2026 first robotics competition game rebuild. Hope you guys have an amazing season for 2026 and I'll see you on the competition field. Take care guys.